Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech, where this geeky grandpa talks about tech, grandpa having fun with tech, and how-tos and all kinds of product reviews. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about a problem that some people have been having, uh, and that, that is you turn your computer on and suddenly you get a message that says, uh, connect your power supply to the PCIe of your video card, or something like that. Well, if you're getting that issue, today we're going to get into it, find out what's causing it, a couple of the things that be, could be causing it, and how to solve it. Anyway, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll be right into that. This is the message you get. Please power down and connect the PCIe power cable and for this graphics card. Well, I had this problem. Uh, I put a new video card in. I plugged in my power supply cable into the unit, and this is what came up. And I looked, and I looked at the cables, and everything seemed perfect. What could be causing this problem? So I'm going to get into some things that could be causing the problem, and I'll tell you what solved my problem. The first thing that you want to check, okay, if this, if you've just installed a video card, is that number one, you are using a PCIe cable connector. The CPU connector looks just like it. And in some video cards, it may actually go in and click in, but the power is not going to be there. So that's the first thing you need to look for. The second thing you need to look for on your graphics card, how many pins are being used? Now, years ago, there was some of them only had four pins, then they went to six, then they went to eight, and we'll talk about the 4090 that in a few minutes. But if you notice in here, the way this connector is connected, the, this particular type of connector clicks on in here, on to the side of your unit, inside. And if you get this wrong while you're putting it in, what's going to happen is it's not going to make contact. And that's what happened to me. I was putting in th this connector, and while I did it, guess what happened? get it in correctly and it looked it looked right when I was putting it in but because you know they're the cables are new they're tight when I pushed it into the video card I didn't have it in right so what happened is two of the connectors weren't making contact but when I powered up that's what I got so the first thing that could be causing your problem is you have a split connector like this uh, the second thing of course is that you didn't put, use a PCI connector and that could be, you might have accidentally taken one of the CPU connectors and plugged it into the video card. And, and the same thing will happen. The third thing that will cause it that's quite common is the video card computer has a certain amount of power requirement. Now with the advent of an increasing video graphics, increasing power, a lot of the computers are requiring more and more power. I mean, there used to be a time when you could get away with 250 watts. Then they went to 400 watts, and that was really, really good. But some of the power supplies uh, just can't handle some of the new video cards. For instance, if you were going from a 1090, uh, a 1060 to the new Nivea 4090 video card, the power requirement is quite different. So a 400 power watt power supply couldn't wouldn't be able to supply enough power to that card. In some cases, some of these cards require 700, 800, 900, 1,000 watts. So the next thing you need to do is make sure that the video card that you're using, okay, is matched to your power supply, that you have enough power to make it happen. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk to you about is if you're trying to reuse your power supply from another computer, the thing you've got to understand about connectors, right? Just like anything else, corrosion can set in in here, okay, over time. And if those connectors didn't, weren't making very good contact on the original video board, you might have had a little bit of an arcing in there. You might have had a little bit of corrosion in here. So when you plug it into your video card, even though you've got a, the right connector and the right plug, you might have a bad connector and you might have to replace the power supply. 
So those are some of the things that could be causing your problem. Uh, leave in the comments which one of these things was causing your problem. Now the last thing I want to talk to you about is a big problem that they're having right now with the new video cards. And that is something I'm just going to basically briefly touch it because it's not about this particular subject. But the new NVIDIA RTX uh, 4090 uh, is using a different type of power connector. And, and the power connector comes with the uh, video card. But sometimes you, you might buy it aftermarket. You might buy a one that someone has already bought and is reselling it. And they won't connect, they won't include the power connector with it. In that case, what you should be looking for is a lot of people have been buying aftermarket. And the aftermarkets aren't made very well. So what's happening, they're not making the proper contact on the board. Uh, they're not making proper contact with the pins. Uh, and what's happening is the connectors are melting. Uh, and Or you're getting the message exactly what we just talked about. So if you're having any one of these, okay, and you're using an aftermarket uh, connector or your power supply um, wattage isn't enough, or lastly, of course, you're having a problem with the connector being old and it has corrosion, it's not making good contact. These are some of the things. Now, the last thing you might want to look for is that look in the connector itself the pins sometimes okay by whatever reason those pins can come get bent and so when you're pushing down they might not be make they might have gotten bent they might have got destroyed the other thing that's happened in some cases where arcing has occurred you'll notice that when you look at the connector where it connects to the, the actual board you'll actually see the cold solder joint has occurred I hope this has been helpful for you uh, it, and let me know in the comments what fixed your problem. Was it the uh, that you had the connector in wrong? Was the power supply not large enough? Was the power supply too old and the connectors had corroded? Or um, like if you or is the uh, connector uh, not making good contact because you're using an aftermarket? Let me know what you found and uh, so share in the community what what actually fixed your problem. Anyway, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech Out. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we're going to be at the um, MegaCon this week in uh, March 30th to the 1st. If you're there and you happen to watch this video, please say hi. Uh, my son, Rodimus Parma, will be with us. Uh, and we look forward to talking to you. Until next time, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech Out.